So you want to play Artanis because you want to do things like this and like this. This is a no-nonsense guy to Artanis, leader of the Dalam. Like always, let's go through his strengths and his weaknesses. Due to his recent changes, Artanis is now able to do what we call a God Swap, which I will be explaining later. He also maintains his status as a strong bruiser due to his shields and consistent damage. And let's not forget, both of his heroics are global, but we'll be talking a bit more about his blind heroic. Before the recent changes, Artanis had to stay and fight to the death. Now he has some form of escape with his dash and swap combo, but this isn't very reliable. Unfortunately, Artanis is not as tanky as before and is very susceptible to focus damage. Do not let anyone tell you that Artanis is a main tank. He is a bruiser slash off tank. I mentioned the god swap before. Here's an example of it. Hold on, bot. Let's watch it again. If you look closely, after I have reached the end of the dash and I'm just starting to return to my location, I use my E. This means that the E will land as I'm returning back to my original location. So, do you guys understand? What do you mean it doesn't make sense? Ugh. Alright, I can see that I will have to teach you how to be Artanis. Drop it. Certified Hood Classic. Here's the lesson in trickery. This is going down in history. If you wanna be Artemis. Number one, you have to chase a superhero on the run. Just pull the heat and sneak it out. Be careful not to make a sound. No, don't touch that. Alright, enough of the memes, let's continue with the guide. When swapping, you must be certain that the enemy you're throwing into your team will die and not cause an ally death. You also must be certain that you will survive the enemy slapping you about. This is usually done by simply using suppression pulse to mitigate a lot of damage. Also remember, you don't have to be awesome like me and do god swaps just because you have it ready. A swap directly into the backline to finish them off is perfectly okay too. When solo laning Vartanis, do the backwards swap in order to throw them into your turrets when you are close range of them. However, good players will see this coming and play passively, which means technically you are pushing harder than them. The backwards swap can also be used as an escape tool to throw enemies away from you. Keep an eye on your tray as resetting this is the key to your survival. Often you may just need one more auto attack or a couple hits from your dash just to survive with your shield. Okay, let's talk about his talents. At level 1, I usually go for Seasoned Marksman, but there are some situational picks. Amateur opponent is very good on Battlefield of Eternity, and Reactive Parry is very good against strong AA comps. At level 4, Shield Surge is a must pick, the other two talents are absolute garbage. At level 7, people might not agree with me, but I'm a big fan of Warp Sickness, and it's usually my go-to pick. If you don't like Warp Sickness, then you can take Chrono Surge. At level 10, Suppression Pulse is a must pick. Everyone has AA damage and you're going to cancel all of that out. At level 13 I almost always go for Graviton Vortex. Pulling two targets instead of one and reducing the cooldown on Phase Prism is a no brainer for me as I have to take it. At level 16, a hugely underrated talent, Psionic Wound, puts vulnerability on the target that you use Twin Blades on. The other level 16 talents are very strong as well, do not underestimate the power of those but I prefer Psionic Wound. At level 20, if the enemy team is really heavy on AA, you can take the second charge to it, or you can take Force of Will or Nexus Blades. This depends on whether you took Warp Sickness or Chrono Surge. If you took Chrono Surge, Nexus Blades is pretty good. If you took Warp Sickness, then I'd usually go for Force of Will. Now that I've shown you how to play Artanis and given you a build, we can now safely say our time has come. <laughs> 